The curtain rises on the interior of a small townhouse, specifically the dining room and a smaller kitchen to the left with a door leading outside. Lying on the floor, front and center, is the very recently late Patrick Maloney, the back of his head bashed in. Standing over him is the very recently widowed Mary Maloney. In her upraised hand is the murder weapon, a frozen leg of lamb. This being a musical, she sings. <laughs> when we exchanged our rings, he learned that meant no more flings. He quickly came to resent it. But when I gave my heart, I said, till death do us part. Well, dearest, looks like I meant it. He said, he said, he said, he said that marriage was an artifact. And from the very start, we lacked the freedom of the life he'd led. He said, he said, he said that freedom should be paramount. He freely spent a fair amount of time in someone else's bed. He said that long after deceiving me, he finally was leaving me because after all, he's still young. He said he found my tried to say absurd and that I shouldn't say a word. I didn't say a word. I swung. <laughs> chosen to swing a leg of lamb that's frozen but when the time comes to take a stand it's not always planned you use what's at hand he said i had no spontaneity well come on sweethearts be my guest you have the floor he said he said he said my aura blocked his breathing and it started me to seething and I couldn't breathe anymore. He said all these things for years, that ingrate, that bastard, that swine. I've stopped listening through my glistening tears, cause for the first time the last word is mine. So I've killed them. Think, Mary. I need an alibi. I came home, and he was dead. Came home from where? I needed vegetables. We decided to not go out for dinner, and I was out of vegetables. I needed vegetables to go with the... Of course! I took the lamb out of the freezer. She runs to the kitchen, puts the leg of lamb in a roasting pan. Let's see. Garlic, rosemary, Patrick always likes lamb when I make it with rosemary. Don't you, Patrick? Mm. Uh, hello, Sam. Hello, Sam! <laughs> I'm completely out of vegetables and I left a roast in the oven. She puts the lamb into the oven. Patrick, I've got to run to the grocers. I'm completely out of vegetables. I'll see you when I get back, dear. She exits through the kitchen door. Scene two, a small grocery store. Sam, the grocer, is behind the counter. Hey, hey. Mrs. Maloney. Hello, Sam. I'm completely out of vegetables and I left a roast in the oven. I'm so forgetful lately. Must be the pregnancy. No problem, Mrs. M. What are you cooking? Roast leg of lamb. Let me think. Garlic and rosemary? Of course. Of course. You need new potatoes. Absolutely. And I got some fresh peas in. My kids shelled them after school. Sounds delicious. I'll take them. She picks up the bag, ready to pay. Now, Mrs. Maloney, just what do you think you're doing? What? You didn't think you'd get away with this, did you? But how did you? You didn't think I was going to let you walk out of here. Let me explain. Without dessert. <laughs> What was I thinking? Now I got some apple pies that my Susie baked just this morning. I'll take one. Warm that up, serve it with some vanilla ice cream, and I promise by the time the meal is over, that husband of yours won't be able to move a muscle. I bet you're right. 
Thank you, Sam. Good night, Mrs. Maloney. Regards to the mister. She exits. Scene three, the crime scene. The Maloney household, Mary enters the kitchen. Patrick, I'm home! Sam says hello. I got a nice homemade pie for dessert. Patrick? Oh my God, Patrick! Patrick! Please come quickly! Somebody killed my husband! Now enter... The detective! The pathologist! The forensic technician! In the other words... The crime scene unit! <laughs> Madam, this is a crime scene! What a sublime scene to investigate, Madam. Whenever I'm seen working a crime scene, I just salivate. First bag the hands, then bag the shoes, bag anything, everything that might hold photographs, use dyes and tints, illuminate, radiate, then dust for prints. Wait, what's the matter? I found the splash. I think the latter The kind that is made when you shatter A scar What do you think, Doc? Let me ball it over What, what is the link, Doc? We're at the brink, Doc uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What? <laughs> if I were you, I'd go and hunt For an instrument that's blunt Probably a steel club They treated him just like a seal club Bravo, Doc! Way to go, Doc! That's just what we needed to know, Doc! Is he really a doctor? A pathologist. <laughs> but don't forget, he hasn't lost a patient yet. This late one once. <laughs> kind of a funny story. Dark. Uh, but maybe a bit too gory. Madam, we're the elite squad. The thing on our feet squad. We're the very best. On the beat squad, but we are the fleet squad. Put us to the test. Now, if you don't mind some questions, hey, Jones Crowder, perhaps you might have suggestions. Where's my powder? Let me say this with all tacted. Whacked. What was he whacked? His skull was cracked. It's a fact. Such concentrated aggression will indicate a professional. It would greatly help our investigation If we knew who might have a motivation Did he have a lover? Was he an imbiber? What can we discover? Hey, I found a fiber What? What? Where? Right there in his hair If you give that bit a pearl You will find you will speck of just a tiny fleck of Wool, 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 why wool? Why, sirs, I've been knitting up a storm Some booties to keep my baby warm Tiny blankets for his crib A tiny hat, a tiny bib For my pet, I knitted a sweater See how it fits how I show I'm caring That fiber's a big red herring <laughs> Something's here but I'm missing it so near I'm almost kissing it <laughs> We'll do this murder by the book Find the weapon, find the crook Everyone spread out Let's get the lead out Everybody go and look. No luck, boss. We're stuck, boss. Come on, boys. Buck up. I have faith in you. She's right, fellas. Let's not forget who we are. <laughs> Madam, we are the dream team. The dream of the cream team. There's no need to fear. Supreme team, the boys are the team team. So be glad we're here with the odds we've mastered. We will find the bastard who committed the 
later. <clears throat> Mrs. Maloney, I'm sorry, but we've done everything we can here. I promise you, ma'am, we will find the man who did this. Thank you, detective. Thank you, all of you kind men. You've been so good to me in my time of... Oh, God, the lamb! I completely forgot. She runs into the kitchen and pulls it out of the oven. <sighs> Smells good. Sure does. Gentlemen... Could you do me a favor? Anything we can do, ma'am, just name it. You've been working so very hard, and you must be terribly hungry. I couldn't eat a thing right now, and I would hate to go, I would hate to see the lamb go to waste. Ma'am, we're not supposed to. Please. I know Patrick wouldn't forgive me for not showing hospitality to such good men. It would do me a world of good. What do you say, boss? What's the harm? Mrs. Maloney, it would be an honor and a privilege. Come on, boys, let's get this table set. They bustle about, putting out dishes and silverware as Mrs. Maloney brings the lamb in on a platter. Mm, that sure looks good. Oh, I hope you like it. It's a little on the rare side. That's fine, we like it bloody. Mm. <laughs> now, Don't be boys. <laughs> sure do. <laughs> now, who like to carve. Better let the doc take care of that. He's a pro. Oh. All right. Well, um, you know, this reminds me of the time when, uh, Doc! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wait a second. Let's do this right. Mrs. Maloney, would you do us the honor of saying grace? All right. Dear Lord, thank you for the kindness of these brave men. Thank you for providing the food that sustains us, especially this lamb. Little lamb, little lamb, bless the you that raised thee, bless the ram that chose her for his mate. Little lamb, little lamb, bless the man who graced thee, please forgive him. Please. 